welcome back to the channel so we have a lovely little craft for this Wednesday well I'm running a little bit behind so you know it's it's probably Thursday or Friday when I'm posting this but either way I figured I'd go ahead and get this out because you were going to see it in my Monday vlog so I needed to go ahead and post this plus I've been having some issues with my internet so there is that you can't help technology but we are going to be making this lovely wand holder now one side did mess up on me just because I didn't have my needle in my sewing machine tight enough so just ignore ignore that bad part and just look at the good part. It's very simple. This is made out of some fake leather that I have. I've had this leather I don't know how long I got it in like the discount bin from Joann's and it's lasted me probably about two years. So you know you don't have to use real leather for this project to make just a simple little wand holder and you see it's good enough to where it's going to sit there but my wand's not really gonna poke out like that too much so just make sure you know I had to make sure I had it tall enough well the pocket tall enough there for me and the good thing about the pleather is you don't really have to like do the ends now I might burn these a little bit just to keep with some of the back fraying of the fabric but other than that it's pretty simple now you can add any other extra little bits and bobs on here you can add charms you can add like another little strap you can do whatever you want to with this because it's very versatile and easy but and here is my lovely purple wand i love this wand i got it two years ago now a year ago now i posted the vlog where um it was the previous renaissance fair that we went to is where i ended up buying this and she did put the lady that, that made them she did put my initials on there for me so i thought that was really cute plus me and another friend we bought similar ones so you know, can't make a can't can't mistake who's this who's because it's got our initials on it but i will go ahead and cut to the video on how i made this and meet y'all back at the end Hello everybody, so we are here for our Wednesday craft and you're probably going to get a twofer so let's just go ahead and jump right into this. We are going to be making a simple pleather wand holder, you know a little holster that you attach to the belt. So for this obviously you're going to need your wand. Mine is a 16 inch wand that I got from the Renaissance Fair about a year or so ago and it's you know nice purple wood. You're also going to need a chalk or something to actually like mark out your pattern onto your pleather you're going to need scissors and obviously you're going to need your pleather I have just this black pleather and you're going to need a sewing machine as well or you can hand sew this if you choose I have the convenience of a sewing machine so that is what I will be using Here's a quick little camera angle change there and what I'm doing is showing you how to draw your pattern so you just want to kind of trace around your wand. Like I said mine is 16 inches long so I'm just going to go ahead and mark that out and I'm just making pretty much just a little oval, long oval shape and then once you have the length you want to add a little bit extra on to your pattern because that's where you're actually going to make your belt loop. Me, I added about, I want to say I added about two to three inches. I maybe did a little bit more by the end of it, but I want to say I added about an extra two to three inches. That just gave me enough space to be able to fold that over once I was able to finish cutting out my pattern. And then you want to go ahead and cut that out. Okay, and then once you have your main back piece of your holster cut out, you want to go ahead and measure out your next little cover piece so you can actually make your pocket. For me, I just used the pleather that was beside mine, beside my original pattern. So I measured about, uh, I wouldn't say a quarter of the way up. I measured, I want to say about, about 12 inches up. Yeah, about 12 inches, 12 to 11 inches up my wand, so that's a little more than halfway. That also ensures that my wand doesn't flop around whenever I stick it in there. So just go ahead and mark that out onto your scrap piece of fabric and just draw out your pattern and cut that out.
Okay, and then once you have both pieces all set and ready, you're just going to take it over to your handy dandy sewing machine. And you're just going to sew that up, you know, make any fun tunings to make the patterns even and all that. But just go ahead and either hand sew it or sew that up. Alrighty, and then once you are done sewing your holster together, then you are pretty much it unless you want to add some other extra little detailings and everything. Thankfully, when you use pleather, you don't really have to finish it all. So, it's pretty much done after that aside from adding any other little decorative pieces and you are all set and ready to go. Okay, so like I said, this is very simple. This is very easy. You just pretty much make cut out one long strip of fabric and then the top part of fabric, make sure that they're roughly about the same. You sew it and sew it and you are done aside from if you want to add any other little like pockets or details or stuff. I thought about on the front putting some little potion bottles, but I don't know. I have a little satchel that it's going to be with me for my cosplay, so I don't know how I want to do that yet. But for now, this is pretty much what I wanted, just something quick and simple. So there is that. But um, like I said, I think I originally saw this kind of idea. I saw it on Pinterest. I think there's an Etsy seller where they do make these out of real leather. Um, if I remember where that is, I will link it down below. So I did get the idea from Pinterest originally, but this, you know, I use fake material. I use fake leather. <laughs> Plus it was cheaper and it's what I had readily available. You can make these out of fabric. If you have real leather, you can make them out of real leather. I prefer the stuff that I already had laying around just for something that's going to be quick and simple. So that is pretty much it for this craft. Like I said, you will be seeing this in my Monday vlog. So I want to go ahead and get this video up. So, you know, you're not looking at it going, oh, that's cute. How does she make that? <laughs> now you already know. You're a step your head again. But, um, so yeah, that is it for this Wednesday craft. I hope y'all enjoyed that and look forward to the Monday vlog for the Renaissance Fair. I'm super excited about it. So let me know down in the comments what you thought. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you much for watching guys. Bye.